Hi, my name is Samuel Tong. Wajiao Tang Chenhang. And this is my Jinan Ambassador video. In March, we actually shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We've been in quarantine for about 10 months now. Quarantine has been something a little unexpected. A lot of it has been staying at home and doing a lot of our work and connecting with people online. We don't see people in person as much and we don't eat at restaurants as often. We've been trying to make the best of things though. So our school has shut down, we've moved completely to distance learning online through Zoom. Zoom is a video meeting platform and we use it for just about everything. Currently I'm in 10th grade, I'm in high school, so high school goes from 9th through 12th grade in 4 years. Our daily schedule, we have 4 different class periods, and on each of them we have about an hour period long with each teacher in each class. This term I'm currently taking English, Math, Spanish, and Engineering. I do really enjoy school, I find it a lot of fun. Distance learning gives a new take on school. We have an online classroom that we use to turn in our work and to view our assignments from our teachers. We've had a few technology issues, um, and everyone really has. And it's definitely a different experience through distance learning. So for example, in chemistry, we would have a lot of labs. We would go into the classroom and be able to experiment with the different chemicals. In this case, we're saving the interactive labs uh, and experiments until later. It's new and we're still adjusting to it, but it's definitely a really interesting experience. I actually have a few extracurricular activities. Uh, one of them that I really like is piano, so I do classical piano. I also do jazz. Jazz is interesting because it has more of a, a swing to it, and it also introduces improvisation, so you get to make up your own melodies, as well as uh, different solos, so it's a different environment as uh, classical, and it's a really cool experience. I also do martial arts. We do classes online through our computers, and we train at home. We do a lot of uh, cool things like weapon techniques, different forms, and different uh, curriculum. I also feel like my martial arts has really improved over quarantine because I've been able to focus on it a lot. What I really like about it is it combines the physical aspect, uh, so actually doing martial arts, as well as the mental part, which includes eating healthy and being disciplined and respectful to everyone. We do take Chinese tutoring classes online, though I'm not very fluent, I'm still learning. I live with my mom and dad, and I have a brother and a sister. It's been nice having them as company. Overall, with my family, we've been able to have a lot more time together. Uh, we've been able to eat dinner every day together, which was something we weren't really able to do every single day because of our crazy schedules before the pandemic. Quarantine is definitely a new experience, but it's still a very memorable one. Sacramento is the capital of California, a couple of hours away from San Francisco. It's a very memorable city and there's a lot to do and landmarks to see. Uh, one of the landmarks that really represents Sacramento is Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge was built in 1934 and opened in 1935 by Alfred Eichler. It was built across the Sacramento River. This is a 3D model tower bridge that I built using software for my school's engineering class. It's nice because we get to see it both in person and above from a higher view. Tower Bridge is right by the Capitol Mall, which means that it's very close to the state capitol. It was actually originally painted silver, but then changed to gold. Historically, it had railroads for trains, but then it was later removed, and today it's actually used for cars and pedestrians. One of the cool things about Tower Bridge is that it's a vertical lift bridge, so the middle part rises vertically instead of a drawbridge that would rotate. Uh, this would be used for ships or for anything passing underneath in the water. It's very representative of Sacramento, so sometimes you'll see it on shirts or on signs. Before the pandemic, I remember my family and I, we had a running race uh, in Sacramento, and at one point, we actually ran over the bridge in the course, and that was really cool. Another really interesting landmark of Sacramento is the California State Capitol. The State Capitol was built in 1874, and it has the California Assembly and Senate Chambers. It's at the very end of Capitol Mall, which is a long road all the way from Tower Bridge to the State Capitol, and the design of the State Capitol is actually based off of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Inside and around the State Capitol, there's this California State Capitol Museum, which has statues, art pieces, and it also has historical offices for California's governors and secretaries and treasurers. Behind the State Capitol is Capitol Park, where there are memorials for veterans and famous people and historic events, and there are also huge gardens that you can walk through. Overall, Sacramento is a very unique city. Our sort of normal lifestyle has been impacted by the pandemic, but we're really trying to make the best of the situation. We're adjusting to using technology more and working online. And while quarantine may be tough at times, we're really grateful for the things that we do have, and we're optimistic for what the future will bring.